me again. You join me in a shed, and I must warn you, if you don't like wood, I would. Oh, sorry. Look away now. My journey to get back on the road begins in the shop, where I pick up some wood, pay for it, leave the shop, realise I don't have enough wood, go to another shop, because I'm too embarrassed to go to the first one again, pick up some more wood, pay for that, and return to the shed, which is where I am now, as I uh, said just a moment ago. The plan is to use my dire circumstances as an opportunity not just to rebuild the van, but to build it better than ever. So, let's go. Great things are built on solid foundations, so I start with the frame. I get the wood a good patch, check it's good quality, and then cut and arrange, then cut and rearrange some pieces into a rough frame shape. Then I build up the shape of the van. And now it's time to head to a secret location. Me again again. You join me at secret testing facility number one. The purpose of today's test is to check that the frame does not interfere with the mechanics of the vehicle. Specifically, that the frame doesn't rub against the wheels. Let's go. While it is in its exposed fragile state, it's important to be extremely careful. Especially due to the lack of steering wheel. Well, I seem to have identified a weak structural point of the vehicle that needs reinforcement. But I've also noticed a slight crunching sound when pulling away. So maybe there's some gubbins inside that need addressing to, too. Back to you in the shed! Thank you. I addressed the troublesome gubbins by taking some things apart and replacing them with new gubbins. This was left over at the end, but I swept it away and haven't thought about it since. It's now time to put some walls on the van, and more wood is involved, so be warned. I used the frame of the van as a template and cut the panels to size, and then I stick them on. Sometimes the wood sounds quite nice. So if you would like a short ASMR session, then please enjoy the next 10 seconds. If not, then please skip forward 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Okay, that's it. If you've got walls, then you need doors, or you'll be eternally trapped inside or outside, whatever it is. So now I add some hinges. For clarification, that's so I can put the doors on later. This bit did not go smoothly, but if you can't test your patience, then what's your patience for? Waterproofing now, and a couple more lovely sounds. I spread this on the base, hoping it will help with waterproofing too but ended up looking like pure evil in a can. Let's hope it's not, because now we're at the exciting point where if you squint your eyes, we have something resembling a van. Me again, again, again. After weeks of hard work, I have amassed a vast amount of space-grade aluminium. And if you're watching from America, I do of course mean... The cylinders are cut into slices of beer can, and then flattened out using a sophisticated rolling method. I then mentally prepare my body to endure the pain of pressing thin sheets of metal against hot glue. This is not painful, this is not painful at all, this is okay, my hands feel fine, I'm okay, this is not painful at all. This is a painful. I will then continue this process until the whole van is covered. This is not burning at all. Me again, 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 again. Welcome to secret testing facility number two. With the added weight of the beer can, we now need to check that the van still turns. Because you'll often find if you want to go somewhere, you've got to go around things to get to it. So let's go. That was lovely. Like being reunited with an old friend. With a satisfactory overall structure, we can now begin finishing the van. Back to you in the shed. 
I'm back outside, actually. But not before putting on some doors, so I'm not eternally trapped. And attaching a bonnet. Or if you're watching from America. Uh -huh. I also added a roof. Which, if you're American, is also called a roof. And then cleaned every surface until I could see my face in it. Including the roof. Or roof, depending where you're from. For better paint adhesion. I blocked off all of the openings. And now we're ready to paint. Sometimes your actions now can make your life better off down the line. So, I apply a coat of primer first. For even better paint adhesion. Wait for it to dry. Do it again. And then it's time for a coat of gloss paint. Make sure no foreign objects are on the surface. And don't forget to remove the safety cap or it won't come out properly. I repeat this process until it looks good. Which coincidentally, and suspiciously conveniently, was when I also ran out of paint. I'm no electrician, but I do like to tinker with the odd high voltage circuit. While the old van did have lights, they weren't very bright. I also wanted some lights that didn't fly out the back doors in even the smallest of scrapes. A bit of drill in here. Sticking things in here. And soldering things here. And my wishes have come true. And now a list of finishing touches. Windows. Wing mirrors. A rear view mirror. Door handles. An air freshener. Number plates. A sticker. And finally, go faster stripes. Due to a small electrical fire during the installation of the lights, I have some scorch marks on the front that need attending to. So as we reach the end of our time together, this seems like the perfect opportunity for another short ASMR painting session from Wheelie Yellow. Sit back and relax. Me again. Again, 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 again. It's taken me so long to build this van that I'm quite nervous about the big reveal. The longer you spend on something, the more you feel like it has to be worth the while. And sometimes things can never live up to expectations. But if you enjoy the process, then I suppose you don't have to worry about that. So I hope you've enjoyed the process. And it's got to be an improvement over what happened to this old van. Anyway, please imagine a drum roll and... Ta-da! Oh, a ladybird. And another one. Huh. Anyway, where was I? Oh yes, ta-da! I'm quite pleased with it. Especially the newfangled lights. Which were well worth the mild peril of the small electrical fire. And I've even got doors now. Mostly though, I'm just very excited to get back on the road. I hope you have enjoyed this slightly longer video and building process. Some people have asked for a Patreon to see some more behind the scenes. So if that kind of thing interests you, or you would like to support the channel, you can find a link somewhere on my profile, or in the description. I was thinking of putting a longer ASMR video on there. Anyway, without any further ado, and for the first time with this new van, let's go!